business are used to pay their taxes giving out to feed those 12,000 horses. And through the holes that Ramada used to drop the grain inside his building. You can see how thick is the roof and how thick were the walls. It was built like this to keep the inside always fresh and cool. And that way the grain will ferment and flower. Even when it gets 120 outside, it never goes over 60, 65 inside this building. And in the 17th century, as you see here, some pipes. It means that they had, 300 years ago, the water always running underneath to maintain the same temperature down as on top like an air conditioning system now. And Meknes, where they had several earthquakes, all these roofs resisted thunder. Why? Because the wall on your right and the one on your left make like two half circles fetching to each one. That even when it moved, it could resist on the earthquake. You can see there that the wall, it doesn't hold the roof. There is that small French spreading up. And in Meknes, they had at least three and, uh, oh, earthquakes. But Meknes, Volubilis, and Rapat are built on the same faults as Lisbon in Portugal and a few other cities in Spain. When they had a earthquake, it was the same one, two them together at the same time. Agadir South, it can be compared to the western coast in the United States. It belongs to another fault going into the ocean. And there they had an earthquake in 1961 and more than 40,000 people were killed. And now the whole city is built with anti-seismic buildings. The door behind you is about 300 years old. They brought it from the King's Palace ruins. And the design you see on it, it looks like the sun. I'm sure that you saw it in Spain, in Morocco, and in the other Arab or Muslim uh, countries. It's called the Rose of Faith. It means the unity of God. Then before, they had the same roof on this part as on the other one. And you can still see there how thick was this roof, about uh, nine feet. But it was flat and not concave as the other, that's why it couldn't resist for the earthquake. And imagine all this was full with grain to feed the 12,000 horses. You can see also the walls down there, they restored them just six years ago, but they didn't leave the holes in. And they start already to cry. Why? Because when it rains, the water goes in, and the wall doesn't find enough air to in it. Please come here and stand in the middle or any center and look on your right and left the perspective of that water. Enough food for eight years. The horses are used to be outside the third wall. In our society, we have the, da the Damascene crafts. Is the iron allied with the silver? For example, we take one piece like this one, we create it with the lion, then we scratch it with this blade. For makes the lines. Then we put it in the fire for get that color blue, and the material becomes softer. When it becomes softer and the blue, the artist is starting to make the design with the threads of silver. A hammer that was a little hammer, automatically the lions close on the silver with that they never come up. The second time, we polish it. We put it back in the fire for get that color black like that. Has no product, has nothing. Only with the fire. But if you want, you know, something to clean it, only one way, one or by year, you know. But with alcohol, with Johnny Walker. No? Johnny Walker? Yeah. Well, I'm joking. But we make some pieces left for somebody to write in their name or the name of the people who want to offer to him. 
with the date of today and the name of the city. But the second craft and the last craft, what we do in our society here, we have the Franciscan nuns a craft there, a close the table there. Please, you can make a round of the table there. We are finished our explication. You have time to look. But ladies first. Because as a